What's up, guys? I'm out here going to King of Prussia Mall. Check out this fragrance event for Mind Games. Stay tuned. Iron like spring. Iron like spring. Those are my stereo That's awesome. And uh, also you have uh, a book with a number. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. So, and take a look. Beautiful. Wow. So the full beautiful. collection, 10 metal atomizer, Zamek metal. It's with magnesium. And the ingredients, everything in my games is sustainable. My games is inspired from chess and they're using the most best ingredients from all over the world. Ingredients, 26% oil base. The next one that we're moving is called... I love that like display with like the like labyrinth. Yeah. yeah. That's that's very cool. Made that special just for me. Demon Marcus. It's a Tom Ford one that I'm like, no, I don't like that one. But it's just too leathery. Too much leather. Yeah. But I'm like, it, you know, so when he said leather, I was like, I don't know. And I'm like, no, it smells nice. It smells nice. Well, well balanced. You know, the, the, the thing about it, too, is you'll never go through it because he has so many. He's always. No, it's fun. He goes to Jefferson. He's finishing up his master's at Jefferson. Oh, okay. Still have a lot of fun, and he yeah. had done his last lived in Pension Street. And just, uh, you know, <laughs> he, he's, he tells know. me his name. He's always I said, here. you know what? Just show up. I'm not gonna write you in the book. Yeah. There's a little bit left. You want to pour that in one of your drinks? Sure. Yeah. There you go. We'll leave it for you. You want a champagne lemonade? There you go. <laughs> yeah, Sounds good, good to me. <laughs> not too bad. <laughs> And you know, my, there's champagne in this one. Yeah, this one? Yeah, Trey yeah. told you. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I'm not, it smells so good. Champagne and bourbon, the party king. <laughs> I love it. I'll wear, I'll wear that to the, we're going to Hawaii for my cousin's wedding. Oh, nice. When? Uh, December 3rd. Oh. Like, we're going for like a week before we go. Right. There. Nice. You know, you got to make it worth your while. Absolutely. <laughs> if you're Hawaii, absolutely. It's a long flight. Absolutely. But also, very yes. excited. Never been there. Right. I've never, my, my dad's been there and he said it's sweet. Like, one of the first questions. He's like, oh, like, where do you, like, right. Where, like, like trips. Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. I'm here with my fiance Kelly. Hello. So, I would like to give a big shout out to Neiman Marcus for having a cool fragrance event there. It was pretty cool. So, if you're not sure of the brand, it's called Mind Game. So, shout out to the sales associate that works at Neiman Marcus. Her name is Heather. She was really nice and kind. I met her a couple months ago talking about Mind Game fragrances. They have Discovery set. Um, which goes for about $4.95, but you get all 10 fragrances in the 8 mil, which I'll leave the website down below, and her contact information as well if you want to buy some. I get no kickback. It's just she's a very nice sales associate lady. She knows her fragrances from front to back, so keep that in mind. So in this video here, I'm going to show you a quick overall of the fragrance brand in the event, which is pretty nice. Um, we got some champagne and you smell some fragrances. Once you see the video, me and Kelly will break down what our favorite ones are. And I'll let you know which one she bought, and then we'll do a first impression video maybe tomorrow or the next day of that fragrance. Okay, guys, you saw the video. It was just me and Kelly. They had other people come earlier. I went into work to get extra hours overtime. You know me, I'm always doing hours more than I'm supposed to, but nevertheless, and she was working on Friday, so. It was from 12 to 7, so you had time to go. You can go whenever you want. You know what I mean? You gotta go exactly at 12 o'clock. And if I didn't have work, I'd probably be sleeping. So nevertheless, um, so we tried out the Mind Games fragrances. So I tried them previously a month or two before, but the bottles weren't available yet to spray. I just had a little samples that they had, the travel atomizer they had at the store to try out. They were nice enough. They gave us nice champagne. They gave us a cool Mind Game cookie, which I haven't tried yet. Broke. Hers broke. Um, so nevertheless, we tried out the line. So. Full disclosure, all the bottles are beautiful, but I told my friend Louisiana Frey, I told Kelly, I like, I prefer the white bottles over the black bottles. It's just how I feel. It's nothing against, you know what I mean? It's just, I prefer the white it's bottles. Break up his, um, <laughs> I, I have too many black bottles in my collection. I don't have any white bottles. I had the note of all the fragrances here, so we're going to go over the white bottles first. 
um, and the black bottle. So I'm going to um, post pictures of the bottles on the screen here as well so you can tell which one's which. First one is the white bottle is called Block Age. So Block Age is um, the mango, uh, pink pepper, uh, like tomato leaf, bergamot, uh, la lavender, and mango. So how do you feel about the white bottle with that one? That one was good. Okay. I think that one had the horse. Yeah, I think I post on the no screen. Chest pieces. Um, but um, it was really nice and sweet too. Yeah, no, really nice. that one was definitely up my alley. It wasn't my favorite, but I okay. did like that one. Also. That was really nice. And each bottle is a hundred ml bottle. I'm not sure it's refillable. I don't think they are, but I will definitely find out for you guys in an up and coming video on my channel. I'll reach out to the brand to find out. Castling. Castling. So if I say it wrong, I do apologize. So this fragrance here uh, was fig. Leaf, iris, vanilla, and that was still nice too. Um, each one from the line was beautiful. I, I didn't, yeah, I did not like any of them. Like all of them were very interesting. Definitely, I really liked them. And then he had me smelling stuff afterwards, and I was like, Yeah, I went to uh, Nordstrom uh, to pick boring. up a fragrance <laughs> for my brother for his birthday uh, tomorrow. Shout out to my brother Ray. Um, so yeah, she smells some designer later. She's like, Nope, I want to go back to the niche. So nevertheless. Um, Freeness with the fig and a little bit of sweetness with the vanilla slightly pouty with the iris I really do like that that one as well. Um, not my favorite, but I do like that one All right, yeah, it's still really nice. Yeah, so you and like I said all 10 fragrances smell great But at that price point you need to find one that you really love or really enjoy wearing it because you don't want to buy $345 fragrance you don't really wear it unless you're rolling in it. I mean if you got the money then ball out, you know uh, Cassia. Cassia. So that one um, is uh, black licorice, cardamom, and cocoa beans. That one's nice too, but very different. It's not your normal, you know, fragrance that you would just typically wear, I think. It's nice though. Number four fragrance. This one is going to be hard to pronounce. I'm going to post on the screen. Uh, A-S-S-U-L-I-S -S Diamond. If I, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, I'm not even going to bother. Asulius. Yes. So this one here was nice too. It had uh, fig, mandarin, Madagascar, uh, bergamot, yang -y yang, tonka bean, and amber wood. That one was nice as well too. That one had a mixture of a freshness and it had um, some amber wood and some tonka bean. So it's kind of fresh and sweet as well. Um, kind of woody as well. I do like that one as well. Um, it felt like I was favoring more of the bottles on the white side than the black, which is, I know it sounds weird, but it's just, those tend to be more smelling great to me than the other side. Number five is uh, uh, Checkmate. So how do you feel about this one? So this is, this was my favorite. That one's Checkmate. Yeah. And that one I really, really like. Mm -hmm. um, that has Devana, Champagne, uh, Rose, Magnolia, Tabac Bourbon, Patchouli, and Tree Moss. Really nice. Really, really nice. That's from the white collection. I'm going to go over the black uh, collection, then I'll have Kelly pick her favorite. Her favorites, and I'll pick my favorites at the end. Yes. Gardez. This one is black leather, apricot, um, black berry, leaf, orris, jasmine, rose, black leather, cedarwood, and popcorn. Which is crazy, right? Probably a fantasy note. But nevertheless, um, this is a very, it has a freshness about the leather as well. Um, I have this one on my skin. Um, how do you feel about it still? Isn't it here? Uh, yeah, but that's the. Uh, oh, we, he layered it. We did, the yeah, fragrances can be layered as well. So. Yeah, um, and you know how I feel about leather. Mm -hmm. um, but this one is very nice. Very nicely balanced. I Which I was shocked one. when she smelled. I'm like, oh, you like it? I'm like, that like, doesn't happen too often. The guy who was, you know, sort of introducing uh, the fragrances to us. His name George. was George. Thank you so much, George. Um, Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Lovely. Um, just spent so much time with us. It was so, so great. Um, I, as soon as he said leather, I was like, I'm not going to like this one. And then I was like, oh, it's actually very nice. <laughs> Number two is Grandmaster. This one has black currant, rose, rose water, I apologize, myrrh, incense. Pantone. Pantone. Um, yeah, so that one was good as well. That one um, had um, had coffee in it too as well. So Pantone. yeah, so this one here was uh, had it was the base on that coffee when we smelled. They got a coffee note in it. Yeah. That one was nice. It had, and I don't always have many coffee fragrances, but it was nicely blended with the sweetness with coffee as well. 
Coffee and the Rose really balanced out. It was a little gourmandy, but it was. not like super gourmandy. I like Febulicios, but it was kind of sweet where you could put it in that category. But it's not a Febulicios where it's overly sweet tonka bean, but the coffee was nice. If you like coffee, like a smell and fragrance, I think you would like that fragrance, you know? Yeah, I, I would say like that one's really, again, like the Rose really like balances it out, so. Order number three, this is called Scholar Mate. Mm -hmm. All right, so this one here has top notes of cardamom, bergamot, cinnamon, uh, grapefruit, orris, elamine, uh, sandalwood, fig milk, vetiver, Madagascar. Fig milk. So, it smells nice. Yeah, this one does smell nice. Scholar would smell really nice. I don't really get the whole fig milk, but I do get a fig vibe in the fragrance. Like it's kind of fruity like kind of fragrance mixed with milk you know is that um, squished up fig you know i don't know it, but it's, it's it's very nicely well blended every one of these fragrances are really nice blend like it's not off it's not too harsh not no, that alcoholic smell when you spray really a fragrance great, really it's great. just they're high quality smell great there's really no, no performance be. especially at that price Charging point 350 <laughs> number four uh from the lineup in the black collection is uh double attack so this one here is orange bitter Pimento, pink pepper, agave flowers. Agave. Agave flowers, I do apologize. Um, cinnamon, geranium, dark chocolate, vanilla, vetiver, and sandalwood. This one has that chocolatey vibe, okay? So it has those notes in the well, but that chocolatey vibe is what covers the whole fragrance. It's a very sweet fragrance. Um, I do like it. I'm not sure if I really want a chocolate fragrance in my collection. You this, know, like. This one was super cool. Yeah, yeah. More than the other one. But it like really like hits that like it smells like chocolate. Um smells delicious. It smells great. Um But do you want to wear that as a scent all the time for the three forty five? You got a question and where you live at because I know my one friend lives in Louisiana, so I know it's not gonna work for him because it's too hot there. Where I live here in Philadelphia, slash New Jersey, New York area, we I could rock it in the winter time for at least six months. Out of the year, Ja, Adobe, Ja, Adobe, Jaboba. Hey, I don't don't know, you know. Adobe. So I'll post on the screen as well. So this one has mandarin, bright red, pomegranate, rose, benzoin, leather, and patchouli. This one's nice too. I remember liking this one back when I tried this discovery set when I was first launched at Neiman Marcus. I like this one as well. It was great on the paper that I had. Um, yeah, I like this one as well. Um, the leather was there, the benzone with the vanilla, kind of give that vanilla vibe was there. Um, there was rosin as well. I don't think the rose is that heavy in the fragrance. It was in there more. I get the patchouli and I get the, the pomegranate and I get the, um, the mandarin, which is nice. One of my favorites from the beginning when I tried it, but I never sprayed it on my skin. So uh, keep that in mind when you go to Neiman Marcus, try to you know take your shower, go there and spray which ones you like on your skin. Just don't go off the test strip because it might smell totally different than on your skin. Yeah, like it was nice because we basically, and I do, I do agree. Like I really like everything. That Turn it on, yeah. Out of all ten offer, fragrances, yeah. But he started us with the black and then went to the white, and I was like, I do feel like the white is better overall. Um, so it was like he like led with like. We're going to work up to the better one. Yeah, which was um, fine. I think it was cool. It's a great experience, all 10 of them, because some people like you at home, ladies and gentlemen, you might like the black collection or the white collection, and vice versa. It's just what your taste is. Completely subjective. But yeah, and a note breakdown. He yeah. all of them on test strips, but then he was like, okay, sounds like, so for Chris, he was like, oh, the Gardez, and like, it, the Gardez is really nice on Chris. Yes, skin. beautiful fragrance. Really develops very nicely on him. For me, I think he sprayed a second. What was the second one that he sprayed? Second on you yeah. was uh, Scholar Meat. Scholar, yeah, so Scholar Meat. That was Sandalwood. He did Scholar Meat for Chris, and then he did Cassia and Check Meat for me. Um, and yeah, so that's why I'm like a little bit confused. I'm like, I gotta look up Cassia. Yeah, I didn't, know, I didn't write all the notes because there's so many notes. So I just did a little paragraph for each one. But yeah, he was yeah. basically like, it's like a bouquet of all like white flowers. Um, and I was like out of the two and then like after I was like wow like I felt like the white and I like went back and I smelled the black ones and I was like I do still like those but the white ones are like a lot better um, but it really was like checkmate was 
going back and forth between that one and Cassia. Sorry, I like went into the favorites already. Um, yeah, so those are her, her, her two favorites are... <laughs> uh, check me and Cassia, for sure. Yeah. It's, me. it's based on chess. All right, so she picked up that one. Um, Gardez was my favorite one. Um, I have a leather fragrance at home already, Tom Ford Henri Leather. Um, and to smell this one is like so much better. It was like, it has a little bit of a, like a freshness as well, you know, don't lose freshness, but it seemed like it's easier to wear. Even though that one was already easier, this one felt like a little bit more richer with the leather, just more high quality, just, and even Kelly likes it too, which is always a plus when your partner likes the leather fragrance. A lot of women don't like leather fragrance, some do, but it was one that I was going to we'll buy. See if it's well balanced. You know, and I'm gonna wait, um, just cause, you know, um, I wanna wear it a few times. Um, Shout out to George for hooking me up with an uh, eight mil sample of it to try out for myself and see if I want to buy it, which I probably will, but let's try it out for a few times before I commit to another bottle. <laughs> so well, Kelly, uh, one bottle um, for herself, and they did engrave it, which I'd do a first impression where he put uh, K for her and C for me, which is pretty cool. Um, that'll be in a first impression video. Probably in a day or two, I'll make that video with her. Um, but nevertheless, I think it was an awesome event. We got champagne, we got cookies, they taught us about fragrances. Shout out to Heather for giving me a bunch of other samples of other brand fragrances oh as well. God. You know, it's just, Neiman Marcus is a very great place to shop at and very nice, the customer service is amazing. And thank you, Heather, for telling me about the event, invite me to the event. I'm gonna leave her information down below. If you wanna buy anything through her, order any bottles or discovery sets, I'll leave a link down below. I'm not getting paid any money, no kickback. She's an amazing sales associate and she deserves all the hard work that um, she deserves for selling fragrances and loving fragrances as much as me. I think it's a great brand. If you are new to fragrances or niche fragrances, you should definitely check it out. If you like the concept of, ch of chest and the pieces like that, you should definitely check really, it out. Really, really beautiful. I, I, I always think people will like this. I, I think Charlie will like it as well. I told Charlie about it. Yeah, I think he would he like might, it. I yeah. think he would like the con. Not say so like the fragrances, but you never know. He'll appreciate. Yeah. How it looks. But if you guys try it, let me know down below. We're gonna try these cookies and see if they taste good. Um, I'll let you know in the first impression video the fragrance that she bought. Be safe, everyone, and we'll catch you next video. Peace. Bye.